What's up guys, Captain Blair Wiggins here from Addictive Fishing. Thanks for tuning in to YouTube. We are off Port Canaveral today and we're gonna go chase some cobia, hopefully around Hetzel Shoal. It uh, hit social media yesterday, so hopefully they're still gonna be out there. We're fishing with Captain Justin Ross. You might hear me call him JJ. I've known him since he was in diapers and uh, he's Captain Jim Ross's son. We're gonna go catch some fish. You ready, brother? Yeah, man, let's do it. Really nice. We could find that giant school of scaled sardines. Yeah, yeah. I know we, we go to the Dutch on that one. Throw about a four or five hundred of those out. That that'd get them started. Just give me one flip. Yeah, it was a little better than I would have done. Got a couple years on you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's loaded. Really? Yeah. Holy crap. I do believe we got some bait, yeah, brother. Yeah, got some bait there. Swell coming in. <clears throat> oh, good bait. That should be all we need to keep alive anyway. The rest of us just throw in the bucket and we'll use them as chummers. All right, we're looking for the bait flipping on top of the water, like those just did right out there. And then we're gonna try and pull up alongside them and let Blair get a cast out on them. They've been running about 10 miles down the beach, got off Patrick Air Force Base here, and there is whew, scaled sardines everywhere. There you go. Right here, here we go. Yep. Ugh. Good cast, good cast. Oh, there's a couple in there. They're gonna swim it to the top. They're floating it. Floating the net. I think we got plenty for chum, plenty for bait. Do you want those in the front well? Uh, I don't know if it's working or not. I'll just use these for chummers. Open that well, open that there. The elusive unicorn. The unicorn fish. If not at all, JJ, we sure showed them how to catch bait today. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> I think we found that looks like bait. Well, it might be some snapper in there. A little bit of green. Yeah, there might be one or two in there. That's a big loggerhead. There's even a better mark. Oh yeah, that's a real good one. Yeah, that snapper foe show. That's solid. You want to toss that trolling motor in the water? I can do that. Oh, look at that on the screen now. Get a good one back there. What's that? Did you get a good one back there? Oh yeah, look at this mark. Oh yeah. Now, do you hook yours through the eye or up through the bottom? I'll come in there inside their mouth so they can still breathe. If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna hook them in the nose, that way they can still sit there and breathe. I like to hook mine right through that clear part in there, in the front of their eye. Me too. They usually stay on better than that. Let's see. Yep, we're above it. Oh, I got a cuda following mine down. Water's so clear, I can still see that jig head all the way down there. 
There's a fish right there, brother. There you go, get him. I'm gonna clear this line for you. Ooh. Yeah. Whatever it is, it's big. It's big. Oh, look what we got rolling through the CUDA squad. Ooh. Wonder if it's big and red. Might be a unicorn. Kind of feeling like a jack. Yeah, it could be one of those big jacks we saw swimming. Oh, nope. You know what it is? What is it? A big fish. Looks like a black is a drum. Mar is it a margate? That's a That's giant a margate. margate, dude. What the? That is the biggest margate I've ever seen in my life. Holy cow. Holy moly, look at this thing. <laughs> That's that a, a monster. Wow. Almost like a black drum. Are you sticking his tongue out at you? Yeah. That is a cool fish. I love how silver they are. What a beautiful fish. And I don't think we're going to keep any today. That would be a keeper, though. <laughs> Back at you. So that is a Margate. Dude, that's the biggest Margate I've ever seen. Well, when I was shooting with your old man the other day, he caught the biggest kingfish I've ever seen come out of Port Canaveral. That thing was huge. He was 50 plus pounds. We couldn't find a scale that was big enough. Let's get this guy back in. He swallowed his tongue, so. And off he goes. There he goes. See him spitting the bubbles back out? Yep. Not bad for first blood, yeah, brother. Yeah, man, that was awesome. Let's see what else we can I was going to say, let's go see if we can't get another one. They're just not wanting to get down on the bottom. I don't think I'd want to either if I was able to see that screen that's lit up like that. No, if I was in the water, I wouldn't want to be looking at those either. All righty. I like to drop it to the bottom and give it about two handle turns up. So he's just suspending up there. What wreck did you say this one is? This is the Corsham the that Corsham. we're on right now. And we just had about 150 Jack Carvel swimming around the boat. So I got one down here on the bottom. Hopefully one of them snapper are gonna eat it. But I am rigged and ready for some of them Jack Carvel to come back because they are a lot of fun to catch, as y'all seen. <laughs> You know, as me and your dad have fished together so many years now. We went through captain school together 25 years ago. Oh, really? And uh, yeah, we've done quite a few shows with the old man and always have a good time, especially with those Jack Carvel. There's people that still talk about that show. They can go see it anytime they want, though, on the internet. Yeah, those hour jacks, right? Yep, hour jacks. Come on, jacks, come back. We need some rod bending. Action. Drag screaming. Frigate bird action. Oh. Oh, he's. There you go, get him. Oh, it's a double time. It's a double. And mine's going one way, yours is going the other. <laughs> oh, I think he got off. Oh, man. Mine broke me off on something. At least you got your weight back, huh? Yeah. Yep, this one's feeling like a jackie. One thing that's good or bad about Jack Carvel is they'll fight you all the way back to the boat. Oh, yeah. So I will definitely be having me a bunch of water after this one. I can see him right there. I got a chance on this short stick. I don't think I've used this one on the show yet. This is the boat rod. This is the, this one, the seven footer. Yep, it's a Jackie Cravalli. Look, I'm bringing the whole school up. Yeah, when these jacks get big, they're no slouch. It's kind of the rod I like to use for snapper because it's a short rod. You can do short little pumps with it. Just like that. Never give up and never let him have a bit of, a bit of slack.
Round and round we go. Oh. Catch a yellow submarine. I thought we were gonna have a breeze today. That would have been nice, wouldn't it? You got a big Goliath grouper chasing him, trying to eat him. Was that a grouper? Yeah. I thought it was a shark. No, it was a grouper. Look how, he was real wide. That was a big old Goliath. Yeah. Yeah, I thought that was a shark, man. We're getting so inundated with those Goliath grouper around here. I know, there's so many. And they'll eat everything that comes off of this rag. Whoo, that's a nice jack. That's a nice jack right there. Come here, you. Now there's a jack down in Bahamas that I caught one time. It's a big eye jack. You don't want to grab their tails like that because of the, the back shoats, or not the shoats, but the back, the tail back here will uh -huh. literally cut you to death. You that, roll that circle out. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. Got some. There. They make a unique sound too, don't they? Yeah. Fun fighting fish. Hopefully that didn't bite my juggler vein. <laughs> but man, that's a cool fish. Pound for pound, I don't think there's a fish that fights any harder than these guys right here. No, they're strong. Even down in Costa Rica, I was catching rooster fish the same size as the big Jack Carvel here, 20, 30 pounders. These guys fight a lot harder. But uh, Jack Cravelli, otherwise known as the Hour Jack or Tackle Buster. <laughs> And off he goes. That's one down. Nice job, man. Look at this. One fish. Well, welcome back, folks. We have been everywhere, it seems like, over the Atlantic today, from way down south almost to Melbourne, out about 10 miles, back into the port because Mother Nature had a storm come up on us and it looked pretty nasty. And that's why it's kind of bumpy out here. We ran the beach looking for tarpon, saw a few, but they just didn't want to eat. So came back out to one of my favorite spots out here, just about 10 miles off of Port Canaveral. And it was a bumpy ride coming out. I don't know why it was so bumpy, but I think it's because the current's going one way, wind's going the other way, and it just makes it like a washing machine. But as you can see, once you get out here and stop, you can stand up on the back deck of these boats and fish all day long. So we're gonna drop down on the last spot of the day with some scaled sardines on Naka rigs and see what we can catch. Hang on, JJ, because this is a good spot. Try and pull up a different kind of brown fish. That'd be nice. On the bottom. I ain't on the bottom, I got a fish. I'm over you. Yep. Ugh. Hopefully it's big and brown. Mm -hmm. It'd be cool to pull Kobe up, wouldn't it? Oh, I'm <laughs> seeing mine and he's gone. What do you look like? I don't know. He was... Actually, it's fighting more like a snapper. <laughs> yeah. He's on the way down. There might be a school of them down there. There he is. What he's coming got? up. I, he's, he's looking, looking, red. looking red. He's looking ain't? red. This one's fighting like he's red. Oh! He come oh. off? Oh man. It was a red snapper, a big one. Oh well, I'll land JJ's. Get up here. What you got, JJ? Get up here, get up here. We saw it, it looked brown and he was about 15 feet down. And since red's the first color to disappear in the water column down there, about 15 feet, that's why they kind of look brown down there. Oh yeah, he's looking real red. He's looking real red. Looking real big too. Yeah. Come here, sir. There, it's a big porgy. <laughs> <laughs> red snapper, a big one. A red snapper. I used the bogo on this one. Woo, that's a grown one, brother. Swing him over to you. 
I told you we're gonna show you one today. <laughs> or another one. Another one. That one is a healthy red snapper. Yeah, man. Circle there hook. we go. Circle hook. There you go. Thank you, sir. A nice, healthy American red snapper. <laughs> see that unicorn horn coming out of his head? Yeah, I see it right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you why we call them unicorn fish here in just a second. That's a pretty one, JJ. Yeah, man, that's a nice fish. Kick on out of here, buddy. Are they the most gorgeous fish in oh, the world? Oh, they're awesome. What? They're awesome. Whew. It has been a hot one, too. If y'all ever want to do this, make sure you go to the website addictedfishing.com or you can go to JJ's website, which is finelandfishingcharters.com. Hey, wait a minute. That's your dad's website. No, it's mine. He's just sort of on there as well. Oh, okay. That's what I thought. <laughs> Thank, Thank you very you. much for a great day. Thank you for having First me. First time I've ever fished somebody, with somebody that I've known since they were in diapers. <laughs> and it was a ton of fun. It was a good time. We'll catch y'all next week. I'm going to show you what we were out there using today. I was using, this is a six aught trocar circle hook. And uh, basically, you know, with a circle hook, you don't set the hook. You just got a reel and it hooks itself. Rigged with 40 pound test Seaguar fluorocarbon and we're using 30 pound test Smackdown on the new, and this is an 8,000 size uh, reel. Uh, as soon as it comes out, it's still a prototype. Using the seven foot, this is the offshore lose and uh, definitely was getting the job done today. Every once in a while, we'd put us a knocker rig on here, basically just to get it down on the bottom. Also had this one here as a flat line a few times. Just gotta be prepared for anything out there in the summertime. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to the YouTube channel today for today's show. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If y'all ever get a chance to fish, get over here to the Space Coast and you too can come fish with Captain Justin Ross, otherwise known as JJ to us. But uh, a lot of fun. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Smash that bell up there and we'll send you a notification every time we post a new video. Please leave us a comment too because we love to hear your feedback. That about wraps up today's show. We'll see y'all next week.